bodies, bodies, body star Amanda Stenberg has taken to online media to let everyone know she is more than tired of people commenting on her chest. This all comes after a negative review from the New York Times film critic Lena Wilson, claiming the film was not the best. What is going on? It is Annie Lawani here, and yes, we are talking about none other than Bodies, Bodies, Bodies today. The film, which recently debuted, has been getting some positive traction online. And then we saw New York Times film critic Lena Wilson make some comments, so the weekend, it has been just going up even more. Now, this all started when the writer from the Times negatively reviewed Stenberg's latest Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Do you know how many times I'm gonna say that? You don't know. Well, it's gonna be a lot. The title of the article, Bodies, Bodies, Bodies Review, Euphoria with Knives, depicts the film as nothing special, and even has lines like, if you're a fan of slashers, you'll recognize the plot. Young, hot people get trapped in a remote local and are picked off one by one. However, the line that did not sit quite well with a lot of people happens to be, the only thing that really sets Bodies, Bodies, Bodies apart is its place in the A24 hype machine, where it doubles as a 95 minute advertisement for cleavage and Charlie XCX's latest single, which Obviously we love, but anyway. Of course, this did not sit well with quite a few people, including some of the cast like Amanda Stenberg, who actually reached out to the writer. In the now viral video with over half a million views, Lena Wilson depicts the message she received from the body's star. I looked at my DM requests and found this, which I'm just gonna let speak for itself for a little bit. In the private Instagram DM, Amanda writes, your review was great. Maybe if you'd gotten your eyes off, you would have watched the movie. I don't want anything else to come of this. I am devastated to have received this message in the first place. I was a genuine, huge fan of hers. But I'm posting it because I don't want this person who has more social power than me to think that it's f***ing okay to do something like this. Yes, the video, which has now been removed for anybody to comment, had a lot of people upset with the actor's response. Many were unhappy with Wilson's claim that Stenberg would have more social power over here somehow, even though she is a African-American woman, this is a private DM, that whole thing. And the fact that this, again, was a private thread which has now been thrown into the public eye, so not sure where the social power comes in. Wilson even posted a now-deleted tweet saying, do you think she Instagram DM'd Allison Wilmore, Justin Chang, or Anthony Lang like this, or? The tweet, of course, went viral and added to the mix of eyeballs on the review, which is when we got Amanda's response. Good morning. Um... I just thought I would get out here really quickly because I'm receiving a lot of uh, <laughs> commentary on the internet for being a very naughty girl. In the video, the star admitted that she thought her DM to the writer was playful and funny and was a joke, but she was firm that she was not happy with the review. You know, I do get tired of people talking about my chest. It, it seems to be in Hollywood, it's not normalized to, to have boobs that are above an A or a B cup. Like, I, I, I've actually noticed this in my time as an actress. Amanda went on to say that in the end, no matter what she wears, there will be a bit of cleavage. The 24-year-old even thanked anyone who has, quote, gone to see our 95-minute advertisement for cleavage. Users online said things like, it's laughable that Lena Wilson complains about Amanda Stenberg using her social power to make her look bad, since Lena herself started all this drama by posting a private message between the two. Again, like we said. Now they even said, Lena Wilson, a nepotism hire at the New York Times, masquerading as a film critic, when her criticisms are as mediocre as she truly is, decided to call Amanda Stenberg's film, Bodies, 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 a 95 minute ad for cleavage. This is how they were dressed. This all comes after the writer from the New York Times criticized creator reporters like Under the Desk News. Wilson claimed that creators are not established publishers and should not be a source of news for anybody. In the end, we want to know your thoughts of the bodies, bodies, bodies now free publicity with this article and so much more social media traction. Obviously, for more social media news, you can find me at Andy Lawani and you can find us at whatstrending.com. Stay safe and we'll see you soon.